it's me your little boy okay so i'm saying you know i have something authentic unique for us choosing words today you know things that people who hate you will do will always do you know what i'm saying things that they will always do one of it and the last of it all will do what will shock you and i know that you won't wait to hear the last of it one of it is that they will never celebrate you because failures losers will never celebrate someone that is absolutely above them <laughs> this may sound this may sound crazy but that is just what you need to know that is why the moment you start to win no one will ever celebrate you even those who are celebrating you majority of them are not celebrating they are just what they are just deeply angry with you so another thing that you need to know that those who hate you those who are angry haters will never will never be happy with you is because of the fact that they are not winning so as long as they are not winning like you or winning better than you or they are not in the same line with you they will never be content nothing you will do that will be happy or that will make them feel what feel feel good or feel remorsed. It does not matter what, how you do it. It does not matter whether you are perfect or not. They will always find what fault. <laughs> that is why that is sometimes you just be wondering why is it that all that i do they always find fault in all i do because they are not what winning another thing your haters will always do is that they will never appreciate you this is where it comes to your own brothers your own relative your own cousins so no matter what you do they will never appreciate you instead they will start to knock they will start to you know find mist in which they will make you feel like you have not done what nothing. It does not matter. They will always find mist in which they will find fault in your what in your doing. Another thing haters will always do is that they will always wait or they will always expect you to fail in life. This is where you come to understand that people who hate you, people who are jealous of you, who are uh, envious of you, many of them can't wait to see you fail. They can't wait. They can't wait to f see you fail. It does not matter how it happened. They don't care. They don't care how long the, the pain that you have gone through to get to where you are or the suffering that you encounter, your difficult. They don't care. But all that they care is that they can't wait to see you fail. You got to see. So another thing that your haters, jealous people around you, you know, are, are earnestly what waiting for around you or the what will always expose them is that they will always join those who hate you at the beginning. Meaning that each of us know that there are people who are not in a good time with us. They don't like us for no reason. Not only because we are we are looking well better than them, but they just hate us for no reason. Either they hate you because they have already been aware what you are going to accomplish or they hate you because they just feel no what no good about you they don't feel what they don't feel like they are welcome or they speak the, your spirit irritate them and you got to figure out that those ones who manage to stay around you those ones who manage to be in your life many of them the moment they figure out that your new you is now what is now becoming great or you are not growing you got to understand that many of them who do used to call you friend will totally you know disconnect themselves from you i have seen this in different what in different areas many of them who do used to eat with you drink with you club with you do all kinds of work with you the moment they see that you are now growing above them they will decide within their self to leave you and join your enemy so that they can do or they can fight you in order for you to fail so another thing your haters will do when they figure out that you are no longer in their shoe 
when you know when they figure out that you are no longer in the shoe or you are no longer in the same lane with you is that they will start to gaslight everything about you they will start to stalk you monitor your words monitor where you go monitor everything you do to see how you do it because what they know is what they can destroy so the moment you start to see people that's you know try to come in and off off and on in your life just know that god is exposing them you know what i'm saying so remain blessed